Okay, I'd like to show you a simple flow test you can do to test the efficiency of your exhaust header. You can do this at home in your garage. All you need is a blowgun and an air compressor. Now, there's a lot of urban myths out there that all exhaust headers are the same. They'll all create the same power and suction uh, in your engine, uh, create a scavenging effect. Uh, we found that this isn't true with our testing and comparison with various headers. And a lot of people feel there's no benefit from a header over an exhaust manifold that comes stock on your car. I'm going to show you a simple test that uh, can test the efficiency of both your stock manifold and your header. So what we've done is we just have uh, an air gun blowing air down a, down a tube that would simulate exhaust flow from your cylinder. Now the first test, I'm just going to use simple tissue paper. You can do this at home. And we'll see if there's suction on each cylinder. So we've got air blowing down the number four cylinder. As you can see, we've got suction there. Suction there. And suction there. So we've got suction. All, all three cylinders that don't have air blowing down them, which shows that we've got a scavenging effect. The other test I'm going to do is a little bit more scientific. We're going to use a carburetor synchronizing tool. And as you can see, this is measured in airflow of kilograms per hour. So this will measure airflow. It's got a red needle in here. Uh, the, the scale is graduated that would show how many kilograms per hour of airflow you have. If you had pressure in the system, the needle would go down past the beginning of the scale. So we've still got the same air blowing down the single tube. Right now, you can see we've got close to 20 kilograms per hour in that cylinder. Over 10 in that cylinder. It's a little hard to get it sealed on here. And the same thing in that cylinder. So we've got suction on the three other cylinders besides the one that we have airflow going down. So that shows it's going to scavenge off all four cylinders. Okay, so we'll stop that test and compare this to a stock exhaust manifold. This is a common manifold that's used on the Fiat 124 Spiders. So give me a second to get this set up. Okay, so this is a stock manifold used on the Fiat Twin Cam, and we've got air blowing down a single cylinder, <laughs> and here's what we've got. piece of paper does suck on in the cylinder next to it, showing we have a vacuum there. On the other cylinder, you can see the buffeting that blows the paper away. We actually have pressure created on those two cylinders. The way the stock manifold works, it only scavenges on the cylinder next to it, and the other two cylinders have pressure. Now we'll use the same uh, airflow meter that we used on the other on the other car, and you can see right here we have pretty good suction on the other two cylinders. You'll see the needle has been buried. We have pressure. And the same thing here. And we found that if we move the air air nozzle from cylinder to cylinder, there's only one cylinder that you'll find scavenges on. The other two actually have massive pressure. And this manifold is open on the back side just as the header was. There's no pipe or anything, no restriction. Yet we have pressure in two cylinders, scavenging on only one cylinder. And that's the difference between a well-designed header with the right tube length and the right collector uh, compared to what a stock manifold or a poorly designed header will do. Well, I apologize for the noise. This is a pretty noisy test to do with air blowing through your manifold. But uh, now you can see a simple test to do at home to measure the efficiency of your own exhaust system. Uh, you can even do this with the header on the car with your full exhaust system hooked up. 
just disconnect the header, blow air down a tube and see if you have scavenging. Uh, it'll show you if you have any back pressure in your exhaust system or if your header is well designed and actually is working like it's supposed to. Thanks for watching.